Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. So today, I'm going to be reviewing yet another Christmas movie, obviously. So, yeah, it's almost Christmas, almost, almost. So I just figured I'll slip in another Disney related thing, because I've seen this on Disney Plus, and it's a film titled The Christmas Consultant. Yeah, David Hasselhoff is in this. So, yeah, the one guy who, from Baywatch. If you remember that from like 50 years ago. So, there you go. Ugh, anyway, here we go. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, of course, as always, let's get into the story, shall we? So, here we go. The thing is that uh, there's this character. She's a mother. And let's just say that. Yeah, she's a workaholic. She's always going to be stressing out. And of course, it's that time of the year. Christmas is around, obviously. So there you go. And the thing is that, of course, it's going to involve family and friends. Or, you know, that kind of thing, obviously. With this kind of storytelling. And so she needs some extra help, obviously, in her life. Thus, the Christmas consultant. Uh, is brought up here so he gets brought into the story and whatnot and yeah just trying to find a way to pretty much not make sure things so complicated obviously because we all know that the um this time of year can be pretty can pretty damn stressful and yeah that was that it can be pretty damn stressful so obviously we all would like to make it more easier in some kind of way so I guess this individual does like he also does holidays, not nah, of course, but also weddings. Yeah, which was mentioned like right in the beginning of the movie. Like okay, so there was that obviously. So anyway, this is definitely supposed to be one of like one of these comedy type movies, of course. So the the film pretty much follows this family here and uh let's just say that obviously things are going to get rather hectic of course stuff will be just going on it's it's chaos for this family especially this mother who made contact with this character so her husband is also very busy as well just like she is but of course something needs to be done about this just to uh, to fix the situation in some kind of manner, obviously. So something must be done by this craziness. So, okay, it didn't exactly have the best score when it comes to movies out there, so whatever, I suppose. Well, could be worse, I guess. I could be watching it. We wish you a total Christmas again. <laughs> no, no. Or at least it's not minus the hands of fate. At least. And please, for the love of all things good, don't let me sit through Man of Steel again. Because that wasn't particularly great, really. Or even Batman v Superman. Man, that was terrible. That was easily one of the worst. Anyway. Of course, the holidays can be pretty stressful. Is it that time of the year where a lot of people have to do things in, in such a hurry? And just do things, like, immediately? Like right now, oh boy, especially when you have like large families, of course, and just something to deal with. And that's like a lot of Christmas stuff has to deal with large families when it comes to these kinds of stories. So there's that. So this is a common thing in these movies. I mean, I suppose you have, you have to slip some drama into the feature some kind of way, I suppose. Okay, but ultimately, I can say that. I thought the movie's okay. It's pretty alright, I suppose. I, I mean, I, it came out better than I was expecting because I, I, I thought this was going to be just one of the sloppiest movies they put together and whatnot. Just, I thought this was going to be a big heap of mess. I mean, I still didn't think it was particularly great by any means because it really wasn't. Uh, it's supposed to be a comedy. I know it made me chuckle like just maybe like a couple of times just here and there and that was it. I mean, that's more than kind of what I say for some other movies I've seen that was supposed to be funny that weren't. I mean, I like a good laugh. 
And which I know that sounds weird to come from me because I complain a lot in this channel. Especially from the last, what, some years. I mean, I've been complaining quite often here. I've done that quite often, really. But, yeah, I know I'm, I'm kind of like a Scrooge, so to speak, really. Because, I, I, like I said, I rant a lot. I rant and rave quite often. But I, I like to see something funny. I like to see something that will make me laugh. But, yeah. So there was that, I suppose. But I just figured, like I was saying earlier, that I've seen this on Disney+. Plus, So I just figured, eh, what the hell. I guess I'll talk about it real quick. So here we are. I just discussed it for a good moment here. Just to talk about something Christmas related. But anyway, the, like I said, the movie's, the movie's alright. And... It's it's kind of typical in some ways. It, it doesn't do anything brand new, not really. But it, it's just the way it's done, of course. Just the way it's handled, the material that it is given here. It's okay. I thought it, this was an average, okay Christmas movie. I, I've, I've, like I was saying earlier, I've seen far worse. I've seen Christmas specials or just movies in general that are out. And inherently worse than this. Oh boy. Ugh. Oh boy. Just that. Uh, we wish you a turtle. Uh, that that really the turtle one. That, that really did me. Oh. That was that. That definitely. No. Uh, anyway. This one. Uh, the Christmas consultant was a pretty solid movie in comparison to some other stuff I watched on this channel and what I reviewed. And I can see the word, uh, I mean, I guess it's nice to see David Hasselhoff trying to do something with his career. I am, you know, proud for that. He could have just, I guess, given up and just gone to something else, I suppose. He could have just done something else. So it's good to see David Hasselhoff do something, at least attempt to do something, I suppose. At least try to do something with his career, I suppose. So, whatever. So that's the thing, though. That's the other thing. Give him a prop. So at least he's trying to do something here. Obviously. So there's that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Anyway. But what I can say is that it's definitely not, not too shut. It's, it's fine. It's whatever. It's something you can watch. Even if it's just once. It's just be whatever. So it's a harmless movie. It's pretty much a harmless movie, really, at the end of the day. Anyway. I'll give this film... I know of overall rating of a 5.4 out of 10. It's a 5.4 out of 10 for me. So, of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. I know, yeah. And if you don't mind me, I'm going to get some eggnog again. See ya. Oh, yeah.